Well, varicose veins are a problem for a lot of men, so Better Nashville's Jennifer Heron is heading out to the Vein Center to find out how all the guys out there can get some relief. Ask John Thompson if his mood has improved after a long day on his feet at work, and he will say... Yes, much better. Although you may not hear about it as often, men like John can suffer from varicose veins. I've noticed them for a very long time, maybe even back into my early 20s. Simple small knots on the leg, nothing that I was vain about. There's no question that veins in men are usually less visible, you know, they have hair, um, it's not something that really bothers us most of the time, and it's usually not a cosmetic issue. In John's case, he avoided visiting the doctor, partly because he was still haunted by memories of his father's surgery for the same problem. As a small child, I remember my father having very close, very close veins, and he went through a process to have his stripped. And I can remember the pain and trauma that he went through for weeks. John tried a number of things to try to relieve some of the pain. Went through the process of uh, support hose. I've tried heat, uh, elevating feet, shoes, inserts. Went through all that over the course of the years, and, and none of it helped. But 10 to 12 hours a day on the concrete, lots of walking and games of golf were not helping the pressure from the bulging veins. There's a burn, there's an itch, there's an ache. The pain got to the point where at the end of the day, it just, I couldn't take it anymore. It was that severe. John finally gave in and went to the vein center where Dr. Banal was able to explain what was causing the pain. And so the actual bumps are these veins bulging through the surface of the skin from all this blood that's pooled in those veins. The actual mechanism of why the valves break down and the blood goes down the leg instead of the way it's supposed to go is really not completely known. So we know that there's a lot of factors associated with it. And family history plays a role, being on your feet plays a role, an old injury can play a role. Recommended rest and relaxation may have helped some patients, but not John, who stays active. There's no question that when your veins start to hurt, the, the best simple remedy is to elevate your legs and that makes the veins decompress and some of that discomfort go away. The problem is you can't go through life with your leg up in the air. You, you've got to do what you got to do. Dr. Bernal says the only way to get rid of John's veins was through surgery. We use lasers to basically weld that vein shut. We, we don't actually take it out physically but by closing it, you eliminate that backward flow of blood. But because John put off coming to the doctor like most men, his varicose veins were a little worse. His veins were so stretched out that it's kind of like an old sock. Once the elastic is gone, it's not going to go back to its normal size. A vein stripping, uh, we would take out a long segment of vein that you cannot see uh, that we now leave in place, but we laser shut. So that's what we did. We took him out through some tiny little incisions, no sutures. I was in for about an hour and a half. Besides being awake for the entire surgery, the recovery time was also much better than his father's. I played golf a week after I had the procedure done. And a month later? There's no bumps. You don't see any veins. The only evidence is the small scalpel uh, marks where the, he had to go in and do some remove the veins. So Dr. Banal says vein or not, you don't have to be a tough guy and put up with the pain. Laser technology has made all of the difference. I think it would make a big difference in their lives. And the first 10 callers to the Vein Center will receive a free consultation and or second opinion. The Vein Center has two convenient locations. You can find them in Bell Mead at 4535 Harding Road in Suite 304. You can reach them by calling 615-269-9007. There's another location in Cool Springs. That's at 125 Cool Springs Boulevard in Suite 250. Give them a call there at 615-503-9895. And for more information and a link to their website, just head to ours. That's BetterNashville.com.